Hey guys, welcome back to another Football Manager video here on the... Whoa! Let's start that again. Chronix, you made a new logo for my 30th month. I did indeed. Contract signed. Well done, my man. You don't need to apologise. The timing was literally perfect. I was like, hey guys! Hey! Chess has started a YouTube video. <laughs> welcome to another episode of the Football Manager Save here on YouTube. On the Chesno Place channel, I am probably going to get sacked today if things continue the way that they have been going. So, I'm not going to waste any time and I'm just going to dive straight in. It's Everton away to start. Uh, ben Tancor in their side, Ben Godfrey still at the club, Alex Merritt in goal. Dennis Mann is rapid. Lucas Luca Digne is still on the bench. Brad Young on the bench as well. Jared Branthwaite still at the club. We're trying to we've gone back to 4-3-3. So we'll just see how this goes. We just need to work harder. We need to be more ruthless in front of goal. We'll see what happens out there. Obviously, we're missing Lopez through suspension and injury at the same time. Everton managed to get a draw in their last game, but they are six games without a win. We are nine games without a win. So probably the two least in-form sides in the table outside of probably reading as well actually ourselves reading watford and everton to be fair watford picked up a win against me recently didn't they so even they're doomed we're just not very good for this level it seems at the moment so i mean last year on fm21 we went up came down and then went up again and stayed up i'm not even sure i'm going to keep my job at this rate so we'll wait and see what happens or palmer Oh, bloody Palmer. What a player. Clark, Palmer. There's the goal. His first goal of the season for Cole Palmer. Everton take a 1-0 lead. And it was a very, very good goal as well. Please, oh, come on. Please. You've got plenty of support, Peter. Find a cross. Oh, give me my first point. From the corner, Michael Kelly, please, Michael, find a yellow head. He found a blue one. It's another defeat. It's ten straight losses. Brighton and Hove Albion at home. Elvis Rebichai, Abdullah Saar, Josh Sargent and Joe Gelhart is a great forward group. Bart Van Roo is a player we thought about signing previously. Taylor Bell, Howard Bellis is very good. Joe Bershik in goal is very good. I mean, we are the least... Well, the Basically, we have the worst form in the whole country, I'd imagine. Go and play with no pressure is what I'll tell them. But my God, have we got pressure on us at the minute. Uh, we tried about five, Sonaldo didn't work. Alfayette to Peter Bartlett. Oh! Yes! Peter Bartlett buries it. Cambridge United. We're winning a game. We're winning a game. We're winning a game. Cambridge United. We're winning a game. How shit must you be? We lose every week. Literally. Come on. I, I don't want any more highlights. Kashinitz, Gabby, Eduardo. Nice run. Really nice run. Square it. Pen? Ref? It can't. It can't. Eat. Have we not got a pen there? It can't. He turns. Oh my god, that's awful. He recovers it though. Afayete. Kashinitz. Kelly. Oh, no. Kill him. Chop him. Yes, Darko. Chop him as well. Chop him. Get stuck in. No. No. Oh, it's wide. Ah. Just keep the ball. Just keep the ball. Please! Please! Three minutes! Two minutes! One minute! Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we won a game! We won a game! Oh, get the confetti 
confetti out. Get the confetti guns out. Hey! <laughs> yes. Oh, at least I'm not going to get sacked without winning a single game. That was special, lads. Really special. Our first win at Premier League level. Oh, we'll back ourselves against anyone. <laughs> Peter Bartlett was superb today. Man is just standing on the sidelines yelling, kill! Now it's only seven points to safety! Come on, lads. Come on, lads! Away from home against Leeds. Let's let's try and go two games undefeated. I'm not saying back-to-back -back wins. Let's try and go two games undefeated. Kevin Kelleher in goal. Pascal Strauch at the back. Andy Robertson. Ryan Kent. Liam DeLapp and Dane Scarlett as a front two. Mohamed Kudus in there as well. Where's pick up where he left off? Goal for Leeds. He's offside. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy looking at this 50% FM sale. It runs until the 7th of July. Scarlet buried it. Devere, I'll give it. Oh, no, we are 1-0 down. Dino, thank you for the 13 months, mate. We'll, we'll have all of this possession. We will end up losing it and then conceding a chance on goal. I guarantee you. There you go. There's the hoof. Nobody underneath it. Lose possession, concede a chance on goal. We just run out of ideas. I don't know why, but we just run out of ideas. Here's Liam Delap, Dane Scarlett, 2-0. Fifth goal of the season. Liam Delap. The creator. That's this season in a nutshell. Some good football. No ideas on where to go with it. So we'll just hoof it. And then... Concede. Come on. When a guy with 16 passing is just fucking up simple 5 to 10 yard passes, you know it's not... It's not your season. Don't ask to be a pen, isn't it? Oh! Bang, 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 bang! And penalty awarded. No? Yes. Scarlet for a hat trick. Buried. 3 0. Game over. <laughs> Sack him even. Can't sell me. Yay! We got one back. We got one back. We scored another goal. Up the yellows. Still just seven points from safety. They played really well there. We're, we're awful defensively. But we played well. Created just as many chances as them. More shots on target than them. Let's give Christoph a zinc. Arana games then. Why the hell not? Why the balls not? Martin! With 500 bits. Thank you, mate. Really, really appreciate that, dude. Manchester United. At home. Pretty big game, TBH. Pretty big game. Javi Lopez has been shite all year, but so has the other left back. So I'm left with no real op option but to play someone that's awful. Ilan Melier, Juan Bissaka, Quaresma, Batalia, Rogelio, Dani Olmo, Bruno Fernandes, Mason Greenwood, Giovanni Reina, Marcus Rashford, and Kike Becerra. Or Becerra or Becerra. Kike. Uh, they're top of the table. We're bottom of the table. We can't score to save our lives. We can't get anything more than one win in 10. So, one win in 11. So, let's just... Oh, just go and lose 7 0, shall we? Up the Ellers. <sighs> Explain that to me. Explain that to me. Chat, that might be just be the most ridiculous goal we've ever scored. Wamba Saka takes the throw in. Giovanni Reina nods it back to him. They go inside to Melier, who goes plays a 1 2 with Koreshma and then kicks it straight at Zinc. What? 
What? <laughs> One of the yellows. <laughs> Start to waste time a little bit, maybe. It's not going to last, is it? Oh. Oh. No, it is not going to last. Bruno. Wow. In commentary at the bottom, it said that the keeper should have done better at his near post. But let's be honest. I don't think there's much he could do about that. It's unsighted. And that is a worldie from Bruno Fernandes. 1-1, one, one, lads. Jesus Christ. 36-year-old Bruno is still an absolute world. He has seven goals and 13 assists in the Premier League so far this season at 36. It's disgusting. 13 assists and seven goals in 12 games. Some of the best season of his entire career at 36. Eight minutes to go. Seven minutes to go. It's just going to be non-stop now, isn't it? Oh, what a ball. That cross was millimetre perfect from Aaron Wambisaka. Just watch the replay. Look how accurate this cross is. Because there's so many defenders in the way. And he's just dropped it right on Vatera's head at the back. Right on his foot at the back post. It's just dreamy. That's a quality we don't have. Just doesn't have the other side to his game, but he doesn't need to. If you use him the right way, then he's absolutely fine. Squared, free. Never mind, never mind. Kike's got 11 goals now this season as well. See how good he is. I bet he's nuts. A 3 1 defeat against Man United. I mean, they played. I mean, the, the goal itself was a gift. And there's, there's no way that we deserved that goal, but we did put, or to get the goal in the manner that we got it. But we had enough chances to warrant maybe scoring one. And we did get our one. It just it wasn't, wasn't particularly obvious in the manner that it came about. Never mind, Leicester away in four days' time. Manchester United at home, followed by Leicester City away. Leicester's lineup looks decent. Gregor Kerbel in goal. Hatrauder at right back. Issa Diop in there. Luke Thomas still there at left back. Yuri Tiedemans, Wilford and Didi still holding. Rory James, Chris Tipple. Yikes. Nice ball. Abby Lopez. Yabby. Oh! Wham! Darko Gabby Golazzo! Pick that out, Gregor Kerbel. Zinc, nice ball out wide to Javi Lopez. Just tucks it back to Darko on the edge of the box. Who just shoots, catches the keeper unawares, and buries it. Up the yellows. Every time we score a goal, what, rephrase, every time we go 1 0 up, they've got a pen. How many penalties are we going to give away this year? We've got zero defensive discipline. Penalty awarded. Every time we go 1-0 up, my brain goes, right, that makes us more difficult to beat. It means the opposition have to score more goals. Yuri Tilewans will bury it, and it's 1-1 immediately. Saved by Boyce Clark! Oh my god! I don't imagine... I wish I... Is there a way I can tell how many penalties someone has given away? Because I feel like we've conceded, we've given away like seven or eight penalties in 14 games. There you go, there's the equaliser from the corner. Getrauder, a former Cambridge United player on FIFA 
19. What's with the hoofing? Stop the hoofing. Uh, if the goal gets scored and it's offside or is going to be disallowed, the players won't. The players that are running over with the guy that scored will have their arms down. If their arms are up and they're celebrating and they're doing stuff with their arms, it's going to count. If their arms are just down and they just look like they're nonchalantly jogging, then it's going to be disallowed. Well, that didn't take long, did it? 57 59, and we're behind. Such brilliant football. I think. He wasn't offside because they celebrated with their arms, so it'll go to VAR and the goal will be allowed. There you go, goal allowed. 3 1. Bottom, this is hands down the worst start to any season I've ever had, ever, I think. Southampton away. Made a little bit of a change, but not much. Bogle and Bartlett apparently don't have a very good partnership. Neither do Ajax and Claridge, but I literally have no other centre-back options because Masterson and Ross Sykes just quite simply aren't good enough. I'll throw Ross Sykes in. We'll see if he can do anything, but I doubt it. Brr. Uh, yeah, let's try to show correct camp. Why not? Nice. Nice. Yo, golazo! Christopher Zink! Cambridge won, Southampton nil. But we took the lead against Man United, we took the lead against Leicester, and we lost both by three goals to one. So let's not get carried away, shall we? Bogle, Zink, Shoko! VAR's coming, but I think the players had their hands up. I think Zink was on side. We'll find out from VAR and goal! We've scored two in the Premier League, potentially for the first time ever. Bogle to Zink, Zink to Joker, Joker to the back of the net. Don't get carried away, but something might be happening. They've got a kickoff highlight. It might be two, one soon. Oh, 2-1. Offside? Might have been offside because I don't think they kept their arms up. Bollocks. 2-1. James will... Hang on. What? James will probably just got sent and I missed it. Oh, that wasn't nice. James Will Prowse red card. Okay. Well, that might help us. I'm not going to go for the jugular because we'll get caught on the counter attack. But that really could be the shining light that gives us the opportunity to actually get something done. Just don't pump it. Don't pump it and don't fuck up a pass. It's not that it's not that hard. Rephrase. Don't, don't pump it, don't fuck up a simple pass. Because it's the, the easy ones that we keep messing up. Oh, he's pumped it. What's the point in playing all that possession play to then just put your foot through it and give possession away? It's just so infuriating. And it's not what they're asked to do at all. Turns out, playing Attila Shoka up to in the cam roll might have been a stroke of genius. 3-1 Cambridge United. Oh, 
Bartlett with the delivery. Attila is there, and he's buried it. Up the yellers. We might just be about to get our second win. Lads. We did a thing. We said 3-1 imminent defeat. And it was uh, it was Southampton's 3-1 imminent defeat. They had a 2.51 XG. Despite only having 10 men for most of the game. But we were already 2-1 up by that point. And Joker. At centre attacking mid rather than central defensive mid apparently is much better well reading have just gone seven games unbeaten and won back-to-back -back games we've obviously just managed to pick up a victory ourselves but against an inform reading who were very good in the championship last year it's probably the wrong time to be playing them really isn't it They've definitely strengthened since they came up as well. But if we pick up where we left off last time, then hopefully we can do something. Two wins in our last five, though, isn't bad at all, considering we had no wins in ten. But Reading, as you can see, are turning the corner. I don't know how Zinc kept possession there. He was kind of pirouetted his way through their midfield. Ekani, Zinc. Back to Claridge. Just don't hoof it. Measured football. Oh, it's worked for us. That deflection will lead. The ball through was actually forcing him a little bit further wide. The attempted interception from the defender has actually helped the angle for the shot. And Christopher Zinc runs through and grabs us. A goal to go in front. The interception, attempted interception actually really helped us. He's buried it and we lead. Come on! Well, the drop was perfectly timed there, wasn't it? <laughs> Starting to up the tempo here, Reading. Actually, oh no. Oh, hit the post. Since we upped the tempo, we've noticed a, an uptick as well, haven't we? Move Shoker back there. And bring a no, goal for Reading! 1-1. Oh, one, one. From the corner whilst I was making a change, they've equalised. Typical of this season, if we do. There's the... Oh, I saw the run on the far side. Are we going to get there? No, the defender gave up on it. Brilliant. Cheers then. Like, who, who is that? Kashinitz is on the way towards the ball and then just runs away from it. Lets them cross it and they score. Inexplicable from Igor. I have no idea why he's just left the ball there. Just run away from it. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. We've had 22 shots and we are going to lose the game unless we score now. And we're going to lose the game. The opportunity to really kick our season into gear isn't going to be taken. And, well, Zinc needs a bit more composure there, doesn't he? Because that was disgustingly poor. One-on-one, -on -one, last minute, 96th minute, with seconds to go. And he puts it in the stand. But he is 18. So what do we expect? Could be a 2-1 defeat against Reading. Oh, it's going to be a 2-1 defeat against Reading. <laughs> that could have been a 1-0 win. So easily could have been a 1-0 win. Yep, 2-1 defeat. Crestfallen. Oh, 
We've conceded so many goals late like that. So many goals late like that. We have a look at the schedule. Admittedly, Tottenham came after the red card, but 85, 87, 92. Newcastle was fair enough. Bristol City was fair enough. Liverpool late on in the first half into stoppage time. Chelsea, 89th minute and 79th minute when we were on for a win. Villa, 86th minute when we could have had stood a chance of a draw. Watford, 79th minute. City were already 3-0 down. Wolves, fair enough. West Ham, fair enough. Man sent off, 88th minute goal. Everton, 65th, fair enough. Leeds was fair enough. Man United, 84 and 86 when we were potentially on for a point. Not good enough. 85 when we had the opportunity maybe for half an hour to get ourselves something from that game. We were 1-0 up at half time as well, thrown it away. And then Reading, 84 and 89 when we are on for a victory and thrown it away. It's just... So, so, so frustrating. We could have been so much higher in the league than we are. How many points dropped is that? So we were playing well enough to earn a point against Tottenham. So we'll say one point dropped there. We'll say two points dropped from Chelsea because... It's 89th minute. Fair enough with the penalty. So two points dropped. Three points dropped. Four points dropped. And that was another three points. That's seven points dropped. If we had another seven points, we'd be on 13 Still be in the relegation zone, but only be a point outside safety. We'd still be having a terrible season, but we'd be doing incredibly... Or we'd have given ourselves incredibly better chance of staying up. The board is still satisfied that the team are trying their best this season. So I'm def I, don't I really don't think I'm going to get the result. I mean, uh, sorry, I really don't think I'm going to get the sack. Now that's the only result that has been anything more, less than a C minus, I think. <sighs> it is what it is. Financially, we are in a great position. We keep making money month on month with all of the TV money. So, because our wage budget is massive compared to what it ever has been, but is still minuscule compared to the rest of the league. We're actually still making money each each month. If we somehow stay up, then I'd probably get I'd probably get a giant transfer budget next season of about sixty or seventy million. But at this at this stage, dunno. Dunno. I think we need a centre back, we need a left back in January, and from there we shall wait and see what happens. But that is going to bring this YouTube video to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please drop the video a like if you've enjoyed. Make sure you're following me over on Twitch. Link in the description down below. We'll probably finish this season or get sacked before the end of it between now and Monday, which, of course, will be the start of F1 content on stream. So And coming to the second channel as well. So don't miss it, please. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much for watching on YouTube. I'll see you next time. And I'll go and send everyone on stream for a raid.